So, I thought I'd join the discussion party, but I'm going to pull from the past as well as the present on this one. So, this is me <laughs> hopping on the bandwagon. Okay, this is it. Here I am. Let's discuss. Is booktube racist or at least prejudice? Is it okay that there aren't many big black booktubers? Why weren't more black booktubers invited to visit the set of the Hate You Give movie? I think it was like two. Actually, just one black booktuber or biracial booktuber, Naya Reads and Smiles, and another black YouTuber who is not even a booktuber. What? Why, when there was a New York Times article written about the amazingness and magic that is the booktube community, was Christina Marie the only black booktuber pictured? As always, I have a different perspective on things. So before we go any further, no disrespect to the ladies and gentlemen who have already made different and various videos on many of these topics and have made their thoughts and opinions known. I happen to agree with and co-sign with many, many of the points that they made. With that being said, <laughs> black booktubers, aren't we tired of this? <laughs> like, black booktubers, black booktuber allies and supporters, black viewers, aren't we over this? This, this discussion? Aren't we tired? Because I'm tired. I'm over it. I'm so over it. And by over it, I mean this ever-rotating and ever-evolving conversation that we've been having for years now. Years, you guys. At this point, it feels like a hamster wheel, and it feels like we're never going to get off. I just want to get off the wheel. That's all. But we never quite seem to make it off the wheel because every couple of months, another incident happens that basically encourages us and inspires us to make another one of these videos. The minimum is at least once every year one of these videos gets made. And the conversation flares up again and there goes the hamster wheel again. A few videos that have really stuck out to me. Uh, the first one would be Christina Marie's video, Booktube Stand Up or Speak Up. She made this the summer of 2016, when the disgusting reality of police brutality became oh so real to those outside of our community, and even to some of us inside the community. And this was made possible by the various videos being shared across multiple social media platforms and being blasted on mainstream media about black men and women being gunned down by police, and with the police having little to almost no repercussions for their actions. Christina Marie cried out in that video for Booktube to speak up, to finally have a voice on this issue. Booktube is a majority white space, so I can understand why she was so frustrated by the lack of anything being said. Our community was conspicuously silent compared to most of YouTube where many were speaking up and speaking out, speaking up in support of either the Black Lives Matter movement or just Black Lives Mattering in general, and police brutality and the injustice of it, and the need for us to truly make a change in this country with reform, with change, and just basically overhauling our justice system as a whole. That video really struck with me and has stayed with me to this day. <laughs> because that was a really, really tough summer, both mentally, emotionally, and even physically to occupy a black body in this country. I mean, things haven't really gotten any easier since then, wherever. It's always kind of been really, really shitty to be a black human being in this country, but that's a whole nother video for a whole nother day. Another video that stayed with me was by Jo the Great, and in that video she discussed a variety of topics, and I believe that video was sparked by the New York Times article where, you know, Booktube was finally given a spotlight and unfortunately Christina Marie was the only black Booktuber featured in that video or in that article and it was very, very just distasteful. Not to mention there were just a lack of any other minority Booktuber in general. It was, it wasn't good. It looked bad. Joe also discussed just the struggle of being a black Booktuber in general, the lack of views and lack of subscribers compared to our white counterparts. 
the lack of growth on our channels, the stagnancy that occurs for many of our channels, and that's why so many black booktubers do quit and give up due to just the demoralizing nature of what their experience on booktube is like. So many black content creators on YouTube experience a similar thing and so many of us black booktubers give up and stop making videos because it does become very discouraging to see people who started the same time as you or even after you and even sometimes well after you surpass you in views and subscriptions and just overall popularity even though you're putting in the same if not more amount of work and effort into your videos it, be it can become very 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 discouraging it can be a hit on your self-esteem and you're wondering what you're doing wrong is there something wrong with you do people not like you do people aren't finding your videos they're not subscribing they're not watching they're unsubscribing you feel as if you're not being seen as if you're invisible like you don't exist when you look at your white counterparts and they're doing amazing and they're barely putting any effort into their videos, some of them, I'm not gonna say who, and they're getting thousands of subscribers and thousands of views on lackluster topics with lukewarm book reviews, no offense, and it's just so confusing. It's so confusing. So, yes! Many black booktubers quit. We give up. We get tired of running that race and never coming in first or second or even third or even eighth or even 100th, y'all, or even 100th. And no shade to white booktubers who are growing very fast or have grown very quickly and have a lot of subscribers. I do not begrudge y'all that at all. A lot of us put in a ton of work. I mean, many of you viewers are starting to understand the amount of work and effort it goes into just filming a video, putting up a video, just all of it, the editing process alone takes so much time. Coming up with original ideas and, you know, making sure that you're not being stale or stagnant, staying relevant with the community, reading books that people want you to talk about and are interested in. It's a lot of work. So I do not begrudge anyone their success, no matter their lack of effort. I mean, whatever is meant for you is for you, right? I mean, that, those are my beliefs. But I'm just telling you the reality of why a lot of black booktubers give up. And that it is just what it is. And I just said it. Also, there's just a lack of true community in the black booktube space. Now, I don't care what you say, but at least compared to the white booktube community, we do not have the same sense of community, of support as they do. We, we tend to, a lot of us, a lot of us tend to stay to our own islands. We, we feel unseen. We feel almost buried away. And... It, it feels as if booktube is becoming oversaturated and yet even though we're becoming oversaturated other people are doing well and we're not and so I feel like there's just a lack of community amongst ourselves we keep looking for validation outside of our community and I think that's where we're going wrong I think that's where we're going wrong now many of us do communicate and support one another don't get me wrong but I'm just speaking for what I from what I've seen and what I've observed observed Observed. Always happens every video, I can't speak. Observed, and I will admit that I myself fall on more of the antisocial, state of my own island side of things. I'm not gonna lie, I do as well. So I'm also speaking to myself in this video. Everything I'm saying to y'all, I'm applying to myself. FYI. Now, the most recent videos I watched just a few days ago discussed the lack of representation, and by representation, I mean black booktubers invited by Fox to the set of the Hate You Give movie. Yes, the Hate You Give. You know that movie? About us? For us? By us? Yeah, that movie. <laughs> what? My thoughts exactly. I mean, it's a consensus that we seem to be just very baffled, confused, angry, and discouraged that yet again, we are left out and underrepresented, represented, represented, even in spaces where we should reign supreme. Where'd they do that at? Like, what? What's going on? And yes, a lot of this is about popularity, amount of subscribers. A lot of this is about the almighty dollar, right? And who can get the message out to the most most number of people right which booktubers have the most subscribers and thus have the most advertising clout right I get it trust me I do money rules the world I understand and that's probably what ruled Fox's decision as well 
Oh, the facts still stand that black tubers just aren't given the same keys for success and growth as our white counterparts. We just aren't. I want to discuss all this from a different perspective and you know, I've said it once and that's all I'm going to say about it because once again, this has been an ever revolving door and a hamster wheel of a conversation and what we never talk about is the solution and where do we go from here and that's what I want to focus on in this video. To racist? Yes and no. Just like the world. Is the world racist? Yes and no. I'm sure there are content creators and viewers who hold racist and or prejudiced views. This is the world. Racism is real and still exists. That's not surprising and that's not shocking. When it comes to our community here on booktube, those who create videos, and especially those of you who watch these videos, racism is not a word that I'm going to throw around lightly because I don't know each and every individual watching, but I do feel like prejudice is appropriate in many instances and I also feel that we go with what's comfortable and familiar. That is human nature. Many of us subscribe to and watch consistently videos of those who make us feel at home, who make us feel as if we can see ourselves in that person. You know, a lot of people are just going with what's familiar, with what they know, and they're not stepping outside of their comfort zone in their bubble. That's normal human behavior. It's a predisposition, really, that most of us have towards our own race and our own ethnic group and, and group of people. That's just, you know, reality. So the question I would have for you non-black viewers and also non-black booktubers, how many black booktubers are you subscribed to? How many black booktubers do you watch consistently? And by watch consistently, I mean not only you're subscribed to them, you watch the majority of their videos, you're liking, you're commenting, you're, you're interacting with them and their channel and their content. And how many black authors, for that matter, do you read? Those are the questions that I would ask. If I'm amongst the few black booktubers and black female booktubers and black dark-skinned female booktubers that you're subscribed to, then you got some things to think about. <laughs> or if you just clicked on this video because of the title and you were curious and you don't actually really care about this topic or what I'm saying, then none of this even applies to you, okay? Keep watching or X out of the video. I don't really give a damn. But <laughs> if you are watching and you do care and you're not subscribed to a lot of black female booktubers, black dark-skinned booktubers, black booktubers, black male booktubers, black non-binary, I mean, I could go on. There are a lot of us and we're all different. Then, you know, do better. That's all I can say. Do better, seriously. Once again, if you care. But if you want to be an ally or you consider yourself an ally, then do better. That's all it is. It just, it takes an action, right? Because it's very easy to click on these videos and to watch and to feel it in your heart. And I'm talking to non-black viewers and booktubers right now. And you know, you feel moved, you agree, you, you write a comment, you're like, oh my gosh, you thumbs up, whatever the case may be. It's great to be a part of the conversation. But like I said, this conversation has been going nowhere. I mean, for years now, since before I was on booktube, I'm sure. And so you need to take action right? And this is normally the part of the video where people insert a whole list of black booktubers, but I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do the work for you. That's lazy, right? You need to invest yourself so that you can actually feel invested and a part of our community that we're trying to build and you can actually feel like you're going to want to support us. So why don't you just search black booktube or black booktubers and just see what comes up and watch us and subscribe to many of us and, and make it an effort to be an active subscriber, right? And to consistently engage with our channels and our content. That's what I would dare you to do. And that's what you need to do. Take some action on your own so that you can be personally invested in our mission. Once again, if you care or want to be an ally, I'm just saying. And I'm talking to myself too. As I said earlier in this video, I am 100% talking to myself too, because I will admit, like I said, I'm not an active watcher of booktube in general. And you best believe that a couple days ago, I went and I searched Black Booktube. Yes, me. 
and black booktubers and I subscribed to a gang of y'all okay and I liked a ton of videos and I even clicked on videos to get the views up you know I haven't gotten as far as commenting because my time is limited but that's besides the point I took action myself because I am, I do fall into the category of being like an isolationist and an anti-social black booktuber. I'm not gonna lie. I'm on my own little island. But I'm gonna do better. Because yes, even we black booktubers and black viewers, we're guilty of this. You know, we're guilty of neglecting our own. And I want to support us. I want to build this community. I want to put my money where my mouth is and I never want to be accused of having a crab in a bucket mentality. So yes, I am taking my own advice. So you non-black viewers and content creators and booktubers, go forth and do the same. Next, there aren't many big black booktubers. And no, no there aren't. For many of the reasons that I outlined above, you know? Many of us peak and plateau and many, many of us have defunct channels and we've given up on making videos, we've given up on the community. <clears throat> Ooh, something in my throat. <clears> throat> Many of us have exited the community and many of us have a lot of bitterness and anger, right? And, and resentment towards this community because of the negative experience that we had on this platform. It sucks and it's so, so sad, but it's so real. I am subscribed to so many black booktubers that don't make videos anymore. And unfortunately, I found their channels when it was too late. And it just breaks my heart because they have an amazing content and there was so much potential there that was just ignored by y'all, the non-black viewers, and even some of us black viewers and black content creators. I'm guilty of this, you know, and we got to do better. So let's, let's do better. So fellow black booktubers, better is here, better is now. Let us act, let us move, let us do this, right? Let's build our community. Let's invest into our community. Let's network. Let's Let's co-partner, let's work together, let's really do something with this and get the wheels off the ground and create something here, you know? Let's socialize and let's mobilize. I mean, black Twitter, black Instagram, and the rest of black YouTube is lit. So what's stopping us? What's holding us back? Let's make it a goal and really make an effort to build up the black booktube community. Maybe we shouldn't be looking so much for integration and recognition outside of our own. I mean, that's great and all for other communities and the majority community to recognize us and celebrate us, but we have ourselves. We have the potential to have an amazing community on our own, to pour into our own, to uplift our own. We can build this, and of course, all are welcome to support. So if any black booktubers are watching this, and want to have a serious discussion and conversation with me about how we can do this, any parts of this in general, please don't hesitate to hit me up and let's do this. I'm guilty of being antisocial. I mean, I have social anxiety, so it's understood. And many of us are on our own isolated islands, but it doesn't have to stay that way. And black viewers, oh my gosh, let's do this. After all, your subscriptions and your support are the engine to this whole machine. Non-black viewers, non-black booktubers, thank you so much for your support, for your encouragement, for your allyship, and you know, you can continue to do what you're doing or even do more if you care to. The overarching problem is that black booktubers aren't given the same opportunities to shine and be successful as our white counterparts. Despite some amazing content and creativity, we are overlooked and passed over. And let's face it, you guys, numbers run the game. And if we don't have the numbers, we aren't seen as contenders for the advertisements, sponsorship deals, and cool opportunities as our white counterparts. So let's come together and work to change that. Okay, so they aren't giving us a seat at the table like they should. So let's build our own table. Okay, so we aren't the first pick for them, but we can be our own pick. We can build our own. We can support our own. We can uplift our own. And those outside of us are always welcome to join the movement. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll catch you in my next video. Peace out and join the movement. <laughs>